Hello everybody and welcome to Retired Riders Basement. We're going to build the Flying Things Flying Lawnmower, the Sky Cutter. It'll be myself, Greg, and Greg are going to work together on building this project and showing it all the way through from start to finish here on YouTube. Okay, thanks Greg. Yes, once again we'd like to welcome you all to our basement and we're going to get started on this project. So uh, thanks for uh, tuning into our channel and we hope you enjoy it. Thanks again. Okay, hi everybody. We got the uh, Flying Things Sky Cutter and I'm going to go ahead and open up the box and I've already done this once and what I've done is I removed all the styrofoam peanuts that were inside the box so that we could get right to what we have in the box. There was a lot of them in there so they did a good job of packing it. Just some various pieces. Looks like some templates possibly for the wing. Some balsa pieces. Looks like we've got some full size plans. Light ply die cut pieces. Covering material, pre cut covering that came from Flying Things for the Flying Lawnmower. Triangle stock, square stock, all balsa. More balsa pieces, just kind of separating things out, making sure nothing was damaged. More balsa. Just some more of the styrofoam peanuts that we had in there, thousands of them. Oh, looks like we got a hardware bag. Looks like landing gear, uh, wheel collars, variety of things. We'll get into that later. Some more hardware, some pins. Looks like some 440 nuts, bolts. And it looks like we're down to the foam pieces. This box came with footprints all over it. And what I want to do is make sure that nothing in this box is damaged. There were footprints, which I either have showed here or will show you pictures of. It came with this. The, the box was just covered with footprints like somebody walked on it. And it looks like these are styrofoam wheels, pre-cut. Looks like everything's all nice and die-cut pieces. Like the sides here. Wow, we've got a lot of pieces here. I'm just going to raise this up as you get it. Okay, it looks like I'm down to the bottom of the box and nothing's damaged. So that was my main concern. There was no damage in shipping. It looks like it made it fine, regardless of the footprints on the bottom of the box. Okay, uh, we're going to start getting it built. Okay folks, I'm already pretty impressed with these. I've already taken the two sides out, uh, out of their uh, balsa sheets that were uh, die cut. Excellent, just removed nice and even. Not a lot of uh, tear breakage, I mean it just came right out. As you can see here, here are the, uh, this is part one of the assembly. These are the fuselage sides, there were two. They both came out real nice, some nice looking balsa there. And this is the plywood doublers, and all the plywood is on one sheet here, die cut. And as you can see, you can pretty much work these pieces, and they all come out nice and clean. They've done an excellent job of doing their die cutting. You can see as I pull these pieces out here, a little, a little tougher there on the pieces here, but they just come out nice and easy. I always save all these pieces because there's little pieces within pieces that are used for other things. Plus you can always use some leftover for stirring up epoxy or making a little brace or something that breaks. These are the two plywood sides once again and as you can see the die cutting on this is just really done well in my opinion. I've seen some that are cut real bad and uh, just 
don't pull apart as easy as those do. This is just for step one. These are the plywood nubblers that go inside the plywood, uh, the balsa sides on the fuselage. Very well done. Uh, I have to give them a thumbs up on their die cutting. Okay, for this part of the assembly, I'm mixing up some five minute epoxy. Whoops, little stick broke there. You can see I'm using the little piece of light ply, extra piece of light ply that came off of a die cut piece there that I checked with the instructions, made sure there was no part of it needed. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I figured out a right side and a left side. This piece goes just as shown here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the 5 minute epoxy. I like using 5 minute epoxy on a lot of this plywood stuff. They say you can use the CA glue, but the 5 minute epoxy, I can really count on it. It's, uh, it's very, let's put it this way, it'll just do the job. So uh, CA just doesn't seem to, it's good for penetrating a uh, soft wood like the balsa, but I just don't feel like it gives the penetration in the light ply that you can get with five minute epoxy. So you give this a good coating here. Kind of like you get in your hands. Sometimes it's good to use wear rubber gloves with this work with this but you get a good coating and they sell epoxy brushes which would probably be better but this just seems to work well for me get this epoxy spread evenly so there's no lumping in it okay and what we'll do is we will bring this down and apply this. Should have had this laid out a little better. But we'll apply this per the instructions. It needs to be flush down here at the bottom. I'm flushing that now. And it needs to be flush here at the front. And again, we we'll check at the bottom. It's all nice and flush. Double check everything. Nice and flush there. Nice and flush there. And then what I use, and it even recommends it in instructions, I get some wooden clothes pins. I'll close pin this on here. And I'll give this a good chance to set up. And of course, we're going to duplicate the same thing for the other fuselage side. But anyway, this is side one, and later on we will I will do uh, side two with the camera off. Very good. We got it started.